first of all, I would like to say what's up. It's Sunday. I got to get a nigga in this road today. Nigga don't feel like getting dressed. I'm going to keep it all the way 100. That's how I walk around the house on a regular basis. Naked under my robe. You know what I mean? I'm going to keep it real. You know what I mean? I see y'all been, you know what I mean, giving me love for my last post. Motherfuckers been asking me to do another one, so I guess I'll do another one. Talking about how I feel today. You know what I mean? First of all, I'm going to say good up to my nigga. Gonzo from Posters on Wednesday. Give me that love, man. You know what I'm saying? I like that shit. You put that on that web, Wednesday website. I get a lot of feedback on it. I like that shit. You know what I mean? And if y'all don't know my nigga Gonzo, we spit rap nigga. Gonzo Weed. Nigga, nice rapper and shit. Tell him my nigga Elbow. You know what I mean? Lawrence from Wintair. You know what I mean? Bot little brother. Hey, that nigga skills too. Them two niggas need to get together and make a CD together. You know what I mean? Because both of them nice two niggas coming out the hood trying to make it. That's a shout out, man. You know what I'm saying? I love y'all skills. Do what y'all do. Keep it going, man. You know what I'm saying? My all love for the both of y'all. You know what I'm saying? But back again, I like to speak a little bit on the last video I made about that bitch. Danny boy. <laughs> Fuck it. You know what I mean? She, she erased her page. All love. The bitch erased her page. I mean, she got the point. It's don't say shit about me. Don't get it twisted. Like I told her before. I might be 400 pounds, but loco get in your ass, bitch. You better remember that shit. I ain't get that name for nothing. Just because I wear that lopes, I still got that name from doing what I do, bitch. Being crazy and don't give a fuck. You know what I'm saying? Anyway, you know what I'm saying? You know, that bitch, hey, ugly bitches, ugly people, they do listen. They do listen like dogs do. She listens, she ain't say nothing back to me, so I'm going to leave her alone. On to the next. I'm just going to talk about my party and shit. Hey, my New Year's party off the motherfucking chain. I had it going. That shit was that shit was nice, y'all. I'm telling you, that shit was real nice. You know what I mean? I had three different type of, type of wings, hot, teriyaki. Regular wings. I had a big ass pot of chili, you know, the ghetto chili with the noodles, the motherfucking tomatoes, the motherfucking meat, the onions. I know what I'm talking about, that real shit. You know that shit your mama used to mix. You from Winter, you know what I'm saying? You know that shit your mama used to mix up with spaghetti sauce, the red, the red shit. I that brown shit with this with the high mercury bean. The real shit. You know that shit that put meat on your bones, nigga. Look at me. I, I love that shit. 400 pounds, nigga. I still get it in. I eat that shit on a regular basis. That's like a weekly meal in my house for my kids. Big pot of that. All my little six boys, they go through that shit. And my daughter get it in. You know what I'm saying? Then we had a salad. You know what I mean? We had motherfucking, uh, we had lattice, tomatoes and that bitch, cheese, uh, onions, uh, cucumbers, uh, what else we have in that shit? It was just a salad, nigga, with three types of jets. Dressing, nigga. I love the salad, nigga. Hey, I might be a big nigga, but I love me a nice little salad, nigga. Hey, I got to get my vegetables how I get it. You know what I mean? Got to stay alive. I love me a little salad. You know what I mean? I had some liquor, nigga. I had some Christian Brothers. You know what I mean? Had a Henny, some Patron, some gin, two types of gin. I had this little, uh, this little, this little zombie shit. My, I've been drinking lately, this little blue shit. I mean, and a couple more bottles of liquor, you know what I mean, a 30 pack, a 30 pack of beer, you know what I mean, highlight, Miller highlight, this shit was off the chain, everything was gone at the end of the night, but you know what, it was a motherfucking party, I rolled up an ounce of weed, had about 50 and plus joints, just passing it through, I ain't give a fuck who got a joint, here nigga, here nigga, just passing that shit out like it was a motherfucking, like it was a free store give out, nigga, like it was just, you giving out free food at the free store, nigga. I was giving that shit out, making sure everybody was high, nigga. I mean, we had a good motherfucking time in here. Niggas had a good. My nigga, v, my cousin Vito came through. Uh, Ty came through. K.O. came through. My cousin Salam came through. I'm going to talk about Salam later. That nigga crazy, man. Uh, uh, Vito girl came through. My cousin Andy came through. My cousin Michael came through. My uncle Paul came through. Uh, my brother Antonio came through. He brought two of his friends. I don't know their names. Uh, it was all right. Mommy, my uh, and cousin Andy's boyfriend came through. It was a nice little motherfucking party. But that it was it was about a book about about good about 50, 20 people there. But you know what? It was a nice party. It was drama, 
going on, but it was the same drama with the five months, same behind motherfuckers. They in the kitchen just arguing over just to be arguing. You know, motherfuckers, you know, and they was the older cats. You know, when the older cats get drunk, they argue. You gotta love them, but you get weird some motherfuckers. When older cats get drunk, they get to argue. But they kept it peaceful. They ain't break none of my shit up, so I couldn't complain. I ain't even shoot off my gun. It was all good. I think my cousin Michael did. I mean, I was too fucked up. I ain't even want to play with the trick. Yeah, you know I mean, but anyway, it was it was nice and shit. You know I mean, everybody was having a good time, snapping pictures, documenting and shit. You know what I mean, the shit was off the chain, nigga. You know what I mean, we had fun, nigga. We 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 did it nice. We did it big. You know what I'm saying? You know, we did it so big. A little motherfucker was knocking on the door, wanting to come in. It was a little white boy. I guess they let him cross the street. He stuck his head in. Talking about, can he come to the party? Everybody looked at me, I'm like, I don't give a fuck, it's all love in here. Motherfuckers walked around him, introducing him, my cousin Salam and shit, walked them around, introducing him. Like they was on a date, though. <laughs> he was hollering at Salam face like he wanted to kiss my cousin, though, man. Probably did, man, I swear, man. Everything was cool. Two of the white motherfuckers took, okay. White, I, white motherfuckers, they crazy, I'm going to tell you that. Everybody always talking about niggas crazy, but white motherfuckers wild out, out in the out of the niggas round out. When they round out, they crazy with it. This white motherfucker took off his shirt. I swear to God, man, this nigga took off his shirt. This nigga was hairy the motherfucker. Then the nigga come over here and touch my chest. And I'm going to say chest. If my brother Antonio said titties. I'm going to knock his ass out. Come on, that nigga touch your titties. Nigga, I got a chest. I'm a man, nigga. I got a motherfucking chest. I don't have motherfucking titties. I might got a little nipple because my nipple kind of big, but nigga, I got a chest, nigga. I'm a man, nigga. Chest niggas, all oh, man here. I'm gonna knock your ass out, and Tony Young come out there. That nigga touch new titties. That nigga touch new titties. I got a chest, bitch. I <laughs> love you, nigga, but I got a chest. But anyway, <laughs> that nigga touched my chest, man. I ain't know how to take it. I ain't want to beat the white boy up. I was already fucked up, so I just told that white motherfucker get the fuck back, man. If I lay hands on you, I just pushed him back. And that nigga try to hug me too much love, man. It's love. And get the fuck away from me, nigga. You already try to freak a nigga. Get the fuck away from the nigga. So the nigga go on to his business with his shirt off dancing and shit. I'm weak. I'm taking pictures of this shit because I'm weak as hell. He touching on motherfuckers, girl. Niggas already ain't liking that. Now, I mean, then he goes to the kitchen, get on my cousin Annie. Her dude got mad. He's like, oh, you gonna, you gonna let a white boy freak on you? You let a white boy freak on you? Then the motherfucker made his way back in the living room being safe, though. But the nigga was still freaking all motherfuckers. The motherfucker had a freak problem, man. I swear, man. I said, I know my uncle said, nigga, you gotta go. My uncle Paul told that nigga, you gotta go. You gotta go, nigga. You gotta go. Next thing I know, motherfuckers talking about, come and get Paul. Come and get Paul. You gotta stop Paul. You gotta stop Paul. I go out there. Now, suppose this white motherfucker supposed to get across the street and said, nigga, I had a, I had a good time, y'all black motherfucking niggas. Y'all show me a good time, though, y'all niggas. You know, old school motherfuckers don't like to hear white motherfuckers call nobody niggas. They the, they the prejudiced motherfuckers of them all. A black, a black motherfucker prejudiced motherfucker. They secretly hate white motherfuckers. They might respect them when they on the job, but they hate. You see an old, you ever see the old white motherfucker? They say, yes, sir, yes, sir, white motherfucker. When you wave that white motherfucker, they be like, that motherfucking cracker. Fuck that cracker. But my uncle went over there, he told that motherfucker. Now, he talked to him like he was one of his kids. That's how old folks do they talk to you like you ain't a kid. I don't give a fuck how old you is. They talk to you like you a fucking kid. Say like you still a kid. He was telling that motherfucker, shut the fuck up. Get your ass in your motherfucking house before I knock your motherfucking ass out, nigga. Get in the motherfucking house, nigga, and go to sleep, nigga. Those new years over. Now, I don't Paul, you gotta talk to the white boy like that. Just let the white motherfucker go in the house, man. That motherfucker won't go in the house, but I think he went on somebody's porch and actually shitted on somebody's porch. I mean, my uncle tried to walk away, but the motherfucker was still talking shit. And that I know, my uncle over there picked the nigga up like he had Superman straight. I swear, true story. Threw that motherfucker with one arm. That nigga was flying in the air, nigga. I swear, that nigga was on his porch. Somehow, that nigga was in the street on a car. Threw that motherfucker. That motherfucker got him like, I'm sorry, man. I would never use the word no more. I'm never. I'm sorry, sir. I'm going in the house. I can see the white folks, uh, people looking out the window and shit. Scared to come out, because I heard they had a fight earlier that day, got their ass whooped, because they was calling this bitch, this girl next door, fat bitches, black bitches, while her baby was trying to sleep. So she came out, and the white girl thought she was going to run with her and whoop the nigga ass, but you know how niggas do, she got up in her ass. That's why I heard, I ain't going to see that shit, but I heard about it the next day. 
but the white motherfucker finally got in his house. Everybody came to the party. We, we know what I'm saying. It's about two sun. We still partying. Y'all you know I mean niggas freaking the wall. <laughs> My cousin Michael freaking the wall on that Beyonce song. We like the party. That is cut. I give it up to Beyonce. I don't like you, bitch, but you got a nice cut, bitch. I, I would keep it all the way real. Yeah, we like the party. That's gangsta, nigga. Andre 3000, J. Cole. Y'all did tell that song, uh, you my nigga. Uh, that little shit that West did and that Kanye, nigga. I don't know what you saying, nigga. Drip the grip with you, whatever that shit is, but it's nice, though, nigga. I ain't gonna perm, nigga. You, you did your thing. Uh, Y'all made that shit a hit. Y'all, man, I like it. Loving it. All the way 100. Anybody could any bitch could have did a song. But y'all, mm-hmm. nigga, y'all kept it real, though. I like that song, though. Anyway, I mean, the party, all right. I mean, I would have... The party, you know what I mean? It was over around five. I would have let it went on a little longer. But my cousin, Salam, man, he was over there, man. All of a sudden, you know, I'm I'm listening I'm listening to music, but I'm hearing shit out of my out of my ear into my ear and shit saying, Nuke soft. I love I love Nuke, nigga. I love sleeping on Nuke. Nuke beautiful, man. You know what I mean? Last time I was over Nuke's house, I was getting drunk and I fell asleep and shit on the couch next to him. He soft, man. He man, he for real. He he jolly, nigga. Yeah, that, that nigga was saying that, like, I love me some Nuke, man. I want to lay on Nuke right now. I'm like, what? My fucking somewhere there laughing. I'm like, what the fuck this nigga over there talking about? Talking about, man, I swear, man. Nuke soft, man. Go touch him, man. I love Nuke, man. I love me some Nuke. <laughs> I mean, I seen this shit was getting homo, so I had to tell everybody they had to go. But I like, y'all got to go. Take some long. Y'all got to go. Because every time so long get like that, he be trying to kiss on me and shit. I ain't on that shit, man. <laughs> Yeah, you know I mean, I love my cousin. He's suspect. I'm gonna keep it all real. I love him, man. He's suspect. But the nigga always trying to kiss and rub on me and shit. That nigga, hey, I had to kick everybody out, man. So long, fuck the party up, man. I'm sorry, man. Hey, I had to say, nigga, I had to bounce, nigga. Go. It's time to go, man. Nigga got gay on me, man. I had to go. Don't get me wrong. I-